بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين. I start in the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, allow me to start with one of the sayings of Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam when he says, "O oh God." You are my only trust in every calamity. You are my only hope in every hardship. You are the only promise in anxiety and distress, in which the hearts become weak, and the human conditions feeble, in which one is deserted and forsaken by his friends. Our respected viewers, welcome to Is Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, then talking about some of the events happened to him during his life and then mentioning some of the Prophet's traditions in his right, and we end up with his unparalleled, unmatchable martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi, and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, in the previous episode, we spoke about Imam Hassan's will to be buried next to his grandfather. However, in today's episode, we will talk about the obstacles were set and put to abolish the Imam's will. When Aisha caught the wind of this will, the will of Imam Hassan alayhi salam, she was furious and gathered a group of enemies of the holy household in an attempt to prevent both the burial and the visitation. She came out with them riding on a mule. Ibn Abbas, who was with Imam Hussein at the time, called out to her. Astonishing was the day of the camel when you rode out upon one to fight Ali ibn Abi Talib. Not enough for you that new people should have to remember the day of the camel and the day of the mule as well. If you live longer, perhaps you will come out on an elephant next time. You have halted the funeral procession of the son of the Prophet, Allah's blessings and peace be upon them both. Upon camel and mule, you have shredded the dignity of the messenger. Are you set on putting out the light of God? Allah will perfect his light though the disbelievers may averse. Surely we belong to Allah and to Him is the return. Our respected viewers, despite her attempted intimidation, Hussein and the mourners stood firm. It was at this point that Marwan bin al-Hakam and Aisha ordered their militia to open fire on Imam Hassan's funeral procession. And while Hussein, who was still in grief, held aloof his brother's corpse, Reports say that it was struck with 70 arrows, and some say that it was Aisha who fired the first arrow. O Master of Martyrs, peace be upon you when you were born, and when you were martyred, and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, let's pray that Allah hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time to interpret the message of his grandfather and Imam al Hussein, who says that I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. This is what we have for you in today's episode. Until we meet with a new episode, thank you very much indeed for being with us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.